Good morning rockers, this is Global Reverb, a couple of tips for this morning. I'd like to show you a couple of things that I do in the studio and uh, I put a few tunes together week to week and this is a basic understanding of how I might make a beat. What I'm doing at the moment is a lot of reggae and dub kind of music which tends to be between 75 and 85 up to 90 beats a minute. Of course it can be faster, it can be 120, 130. Then we're starting to go into dance music and uh, I'm not really trying to make dance music, I want to make more sort of roots reggae type dub tunes and in order to do that I have to put everything together at home on samplers and uh, make rhythms from hits, kicks and snares. First of all I just wanted to show you that the tempo has to be right. If you're not using the right tempo, if you're going too quick or too slow, you're not going to be able to get the same vibe that you have in your head. And in order for you to get the vibe right or to get the rhythm right, all you do is you sort of tap your foot to the rhythm you have in mind and then hit your tap tempo button on your sampler or your sequencer and you should get a pretty rough approximate of what that tempo is. Myself, I'm just doing 75 beats a minute here because if I double it up it'll be 150 beats a minute which is pretty fast. So 75 beats is pretty chilled out and that's the tempo I want to use today. Also if we look down our list of things on the sequencer the time signature is 4-4, that's normal and that's expected from most music. Of course you can change to 3-4 or whatever else you like. You can experiment and play around. But most people uh, make a lot of music at 120 beats a minute and in 4-4. You don't have to do 120 beats a minute because that's kind of just what popular music and pop music generally is at the tempo at. But, uh, I'll show you here that um, 75 beats a minute, 4-4. Two bars is too short for me. Two bars means a very short loop, so if you make a bass line, it's kind of just a bass couple of notes that loop around every two bars. That's too short. I prefer to have eight bars, although most people work four bars. I like eight because it's a longer loop and the bass line sounds more human and lively. So eight bars with a roll in the drums somewhere around the eight bar mark or the four bar mark to make it sound more lively and human. All right, so I'm kicking off at 75 beats a minute in 4-4 four, four, and eight bars. So I can't afford to just stop hitting the pads after a certain amount of bars. I need to sort of stay focused and uh, play all the way through eight bars. What I do here on the keypad is that I always make the first row of keypads into kicks. The second row of pads I always make snares and then hi-hats in the third column. All of these are real drum hits but sometimes I use kicks that are synthesized or 808 kicks or 909 kicks because they're pretty solid. I like to put uh, real drum sounds on top of that and usually the last track I have uh, sort of sound effects or splash or crash cymbals. Yeah, some sound effects and things in the last column. If you always set up your system the same way, kicks, snares, hats, you know what to expect when you're playing live and some effects, then you can pretty much hit any uh, drum sample that you've got or any drum pad that you've got and you can play any tune knowing comfortably what you're going to be hitting and when you're going to be hitting it. I like to do that. Some people like to vary their beats all the time or put uh, different sorts of beats on different sorts of pads. That's okay too. But I think if you have a system of doing things, it makes life easier in the long run. And therefore, I always put kicks, snares, hats, effects or crashes when I do my drum pads. You do it however you want. And you don't even have to do it the tempo that I'm doing it at. I just like a nice slow tempo because that's the tempo I'm going for. In reggae music and roots music, what you tend to hear is the thing they call a three drop. The three drop is when the snare and kick land on the third beat of the bar. So that means the music's actually quite slow compared to a lot of pop music, where the drop is usually on the two and on the four, where you hear the snare hit. I'll give you an example of what this sounds like when we just do the three drop, so the snare lands on the third beat.
okay very very simple kick snare kick snare little roll at the end of the four sounds like this on its own pretty ordinary nothing special here so I'm gonna fatten it up with some more kicks okay also with a kick landing on the three okay still pretty ordinary what I'm going to do is put some rolling percussion on there and I'll do that at 132 sounds like this this will lively it up a little Okay, so that's just kick and snare pretty straightforward not even that interesting until I go to the next track and on track two I'm going to put hats on the offbeat let's try that Okay, the hats are on the offbeat. This is what it sounds like with effects. Almost sounds like drum and bass at this point, but uh, what we're going for is we're gonna mute out track one and two. And I'm gonna do the same thing again on track three. So I'm gonna put another kick snare track with the three drop okay sounds immensely slow I know that so I'm gonna add a little Kick and snare ready. Track four, another set of hi hats, this time on the beat. And a little extra pepper in the back of that. Okay, let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, I've got a crash that I can throw at the beginning of this beat. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. So it's very simple stuff. The first kick and snare. At. It's 150 beats a minute, really. All right, there's a dance track. Let's check this out more, kick and snare.
yeah that's 75 beats a minute or if you really listen to the thrust thing of that back beat on there you could say it's 150 beats a minute and all you need after that is a bass line let's play around for a second Okay, that was ridiculous. What does that ridiculousness sound like <laughs> with that drum beat? I'll cut out the beats. Here are the effects. You can hear it's starting to sound dubbier. And now here's the rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> 